Uh, let me and, ask you. And I hope. Uh, let me okay. let me ask you a question. When you got to the CFPB, was the glass clear in your office? Yes, sir. Is it frosted now? Part of it is. Is that your office up there on the screen? Yes, sir. So when somebody walks by your office, they are obscured from seeing what you're doing. Um, yeah, yeah no, they yes, are. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's I, the whole point, right? Added something. Yeah, no, it is that, the That'd be yeah. the point. And, and, and yet you are the champion of transparency, right? You're uh, the one who's saying that you're the transparency champion. Uh, you said, we're going to spend a little more time on things like accountability and transparency. You said that, right? Uh, you said a lot of things to that effect. I think one of the things you said as well is to uh, you, various agencies, various speeches you've given. Even today you talked about transparency, and yet you have obscured yourself physically. And I find that to be ironic, sir. And it just, it just occurs to me that, uh, you know, that as we're talking about transparency and all that, and how we gotta be more accountable, and yet you're obscuring yourself. Well, you also got your own VPN, right? My own what? VPN? I, I don't think so, did I? Okay, now, I don't yeah. know, maybe we'll see. I guess a reporter out there will look into it. But my, 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 my point I, is I, that- I'm on the same email system, I think. My, my email address is at CFPB, now, so I think you know I'm what? on the same system. The point is, though, is that as you are describing how everyone else needs to be transparent, you are literally making it more difficult for yourself to be seen. Oh, I, Mr. I don't no, know. No, and I, and I think that, no, I, I think it's legitimate to raise this how issue. How many times have you seen a witness actually answer yes or no questions in this room? And I did it to Ms. Velasquez for 10 No, minutes. no, no. And let me tell you this. You know, I've seen you, um, I've seen you really make yourself out to be some champion of transparency as you are obscuring yourself Simultaneously, I think that's ironic. How much did it cost you? For in, you to, in how much did it cost for you to uh, put the frosting up there? Uh, Thirteen offices were frosted for a total of three thousand five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And I've just been informed, by the way, this is the original plan under Mr. Cordray's design for his office. Yeah, yeah, and yet you're the one who did it, yeah. not Mr. Cordray. In and he'd been there for quite a while. How transparent is your door in your office, Mr. Ellison? You know what? I'm not a witness today. You are. <laughs> no, you're the you're the witness. I've been to your office. I I can't see it. Do no, it. No, wait a minute. You Believe are in transparency, don't you? I know the, that no, you're do. the one. It's my. I reclaim my time. You're the one who's offering yourself as some champion of transparency. This is your reason for being over there at the uh, office that you shouldn't even hold right now, and the office that you hold. You know, p the public can't see it. Even your staff cannot see it. Who who knows what you're even doing in that room right there? How many days a week are you at the uh, CFPB? Uh, Generally, I, we try to shoot for Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. The, the, the way it's worked out, uh, Congressman, is that I'm there just about every day for a period of time and across the street about every day for a period of time. It's not been nearly as cut and dry as I'd hoped that it would be. Right. And uh, how, let me ask you this as well. Are you, um, are you, are, do you may have meetings in your particular office with I your do. staff? I do. And I also have meetings in the conference room, which is to the left of that photo, which is not frosted. Yeah. So given the, given the nature, the, given the decoration changes that you've made, um, I think it's pretty clear that uh, you're not applying the same rules to yourself as you are to the agency that you hope to represent. I think that's too bad. And uh, I'll yield back.